Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have a massive video today talking about what you need to know about Ultimate Team of the Season. This Friday is Ultimate Tots. It is the biggest week of Team of the Season because we have the biggest and best players of Team of the Season in packs all at the same time. All of the cards that we have seen released in the past four to five weeks with the top five leagues. They take the best of the best, put them back in packs, and it's a great time with really great content, usually as well on the game. So I wanna take a look at everything you need to know about Ultimate Tots and talk a lot about the market and just talk about a lot about Tots cards and what to expect. And of course, how we already know about some packs that might be coming via SBC and with rewards based on some codes that have been added. We don't have any leaks yet to know who's in the team, but I'll take you guys through how we expect that to work out. So we're going to take a, a lot of stuff and a lot of information in about Ultimate Tots today. And I also have to focus on what's today today on Wednesday, the guaranteed Serie A team of the season SBC it's going to be dropping today. I want to talk about how much I think that might be, how it could affect the market, as some Serie A Tots cards are actually down as I take a look at them right now in price, I think, ahead of the guaranteed SBC today. And it's also a rewards day, so we'll take a look at how the Ultimate Tots rewards might show up today because there's some confusion and some interesting you know, scenarios with that. Also, the store is like back to normal, except we don't have preview packs yet, if, uh, at least since I have looked at the store. And then just talk about everything related to today's content on Wednesday in this video. But first, let's talk about Ultimate Tots. If you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you're new. What even is Ultimate Tots? Let's take a look at that for a second. What is Ultimate Team of the Season? This is last year's ultimate tots basically what it is they take the best players from each of the top five leagues and they put them back in packs but there's no formula there's no calculation as to how they do it except they're going to include some of the big names to try to sell some packs right that's what they do every single year you're going to have great players in there Messi, ronaldo lewandowski and bape were an ultimate team this season last year but since it's only the same size of squad that they've been releasing for the normal leagues tots right we have 15 tots cards in ultimate tots last year and just like last year this year's game in fifa 22 all of the team and season squads that have been released have 15 players that's the biggest l about ultimate tots because not every player that you want to see get into ultimate team of the season is going to be in packs unless ea changes so we don't know who's going to be in packs this year but just take note right it's basically three to four players from the Premier League, maybe five players from the Premier League, and then two to three players from the other four top leagues uh, in the world get into this team. And they're going to throw the big names in there, right? You think about Mbappe the cover star of this game. Messi, Ronaldo, they're probably still this year in FIFA 22 going to put these guys back into tots. But there's also going to be some lower tier cards in there as well because that'll make the pack odds increase. Uh, they're going to throw in guys like last year, they did, DeVry was low rated and very cheap. Oblak was like under 100,000 coins. Cancelo was pretty cheap. Harry Kane was pretty cheap. There's going to be some cards in TOTS this year as well that'll be under like three, 400,000 coins. Um, and, you know, EA will put a few of those in the team as well. So it's not just a whole entire squad of like your Vinicius Jr., your Benzema, your Mbappe. Like, you know, from Mbappe, Neymar, Ben Yedder, and Messi from League One TOTS last week, I would imagine that one, maybe two of those guys gets into ultimate team of the season. That's the crazy part about this. These prices have already started to go down in the market because people expect big things for ultimate tots. I want to kind of cover that in this video as well. We don't have any leaks about who is in packs yet. When we get those, I will absolutely cover them. But what I want to talk about right now is before the leaks happen, we've already started to see some prices move, right? As I'm talking and as we're looking at the market, uh, let's get one example here of a card that is down. Uh, Jude Bellingham was uh, 2 million coins. And earlier yesterday, he was down at like 1.85 or like 1.9 mil. Now, he might have risen back up a little bit. He was 2 million coins. Uh, yeah, he's back down at 1.9. So these cards are being panic sold and they're down in price right now from what they have been. Even if you take a look at a guy like Messi, right? Messi, his Tots card, he was like over 2 million coins last week. And right now he is 1.8 mil. So he's down a couple hundred K. If these cards get in, if there are leaks for like Messi being in Ultimate Tots, his card is going to drop further. There is going to be more panic selling. So this is, again, just a reminder for a guy like, even like Ronaldo too. I expect the cards that are most likely to get into Tots whenever the leaks 
start to come out for those, they are going to get sold off even more. Ronaldo's 4.1 mil, like he's down 400K from where he was on the weekend already. The panic selling, there's still going to be more once we get those leaks. Now, what also is going to happen when we see leaks is as we get these names of players unveiled, let's say a guy like Ben Yedder is not in ultimate team of the season. Ben Yedder was 2.2 mil flat. He still is 2.208. He was 2.5 mil last week. A card like this, if he's not in the leaks for ultimate tots, might start rebounding back up from the price that he's dropped already. So just be careful. If there's any cards that you want to buy for one of your end game teams or cards that you want to buy and it's being panic sold, maybe it's like a Benzema. I mean, I'll be honest, Benzema should hopefully get into ultimate team this season, but I feel like there's potential here that he also could not get in 2.6 mil for Benz after he was over three mil uh, after La Liga team of the season. You know, that's just kind of what we're playing with here. If he gets in, he's going to drop further. If he doesn't get in, he's going to probably go back up at least for the first couple of days uh, and into the weekend. So that's one thing to watch out for. The leaks should be coming pretty soon, and then we'll see some more information about that. Now, let's talk about content, right? We know what's going to kind of happen with the cards. Um, the lower tier cards, let me just say this for a second. Let's say a guy like a Trent Alexander-Arnold gets in. The pack weight on Ultimate Team of the Season cards is, is really low. I mean, if you think about it, you have all of these really, really high rated cards that are in packs. What's really going to get packed super often are the, the lower tier guys. So like we looked at last year's team, DeVry, Oblak, they were packed so much during Ultimate Tots. If a guy like Trent gets in this year, his card is probably going to be, you know, halved in price because he's going to be in so many packs as like the lowest rated card that is in the ultimate team of the season. So not for him especially, but whoever is the lower tier card, the lower cheapest cards in ultimate tots, they're going to get hit in price a lot. So that's just kind of one thing to watch out for. There will be cards dropping this weekend, but I don't think it's going to be a whole huge market crash for the whole market. I don't expect that just because ultimate tots, like I mentioned, it's going to be hard to pack, right? When you have all of these top tier cards in packs, it's super duper hard to pack Messi, Ronaldo, Lewandowski, and Mbappe anyway, it's still really, really hard to pack them during Ultimate Tots. A little bit easier, but still incredibly hard. So just because all of these cards are in packs does not make them very easy to pack. Anyways, let's talk about content because last year we had some really good content during Ultimate Team of the Season. And it all started with a flashback, Usman Dembele SBC. Just like they've been doing in FIFA 22, they dropped flashback SBCs last year. I think that's going to continue. This Friday, we should have a big flashback card. Don't know who it's going to be. We'll probably get some leaks ahead of time for that as well. But uh, that was a huge SBC that, people, that uh, EA dropped last year. People loved it. Now, the one thing that people were not happy about last year with Ultimate Tots is we didn't have an Ultimate Tots guaranteed SBC. And I think that the way the pack code, there's some pack code that's been added, the way that it looks right now, I think that this year, we might not get that either. Last year, we had an 88 plus TOTS upgrade, which gave you an 88 plus player from any of the TOTS squads. And we also had a 90 plus deluxe TOTS upgrade, which was a TOTS player from one of the top five leagues rated 90 or higher. So instead of dropping a guaranteed ultimate TOTS pack, they dropped these two SBCs twice. They dropped, I think, on like Monday and Wednesday. And we have pack code that has been added already a TOTS player pack and an eFigs TOTS player pack. That to me is the replacement this year for what they did last year with that 88 and 90 plus. This guarantees you one team of the season player from any TOTS squad. And this guarantees you one team of the season player from any of the top five leagues TOTS squads. So honestly, there's nothing in, in the pack code right now that looks like an ultimate TOTS guaranteed is coming. These would be, in my opinion, the upgrade SBCs that we would have next week, which is a little bit of an L. That's just kind of something to watch out for and remember as of right now that we have that in the code. Now, also, the weekend league rewards for Ultimate Tots look like they've been changed as well. There was pack code that was called an Ultimate Tots three players pack, which would give you three. This is like the 14 or actually the rank two or the rank three option where you would get three players from the main league of Tots. They changed it to a 91 plus e-figs. Tots three players pack, which would technically give you players from any of those team of the seasons, not just the ultimate Tots. So I don't want to spend too much time talking about this because we'll know the weekend league rewards probably today, because since weekend league rewards are given out, we should be able to see what's, you know, in the game and added uh, for weekend league rewards after 
you know, today, unless it's glitched, unless it's not updated yet and EA has to change it still, uh, we can check that tab in the game today on Wednesday to see the weekend league rewards. But in general, the ultimate TOTS cards, you know, it's, it's a pretty hype time because the best of the best cards are in packs. Yes, the cards that are in packs, their prices are going to drop. There's going to be a lot of, you know, panic selling and they're going to be, they're going to be supplied more, right? One thing we've learned about this year's market in FIFA 22 is you don't mess with the supply. Even a card like Mbappe, he's probably going to get in, right? He's probably going to drop before Friday even more if he's in and it's leaked. And then he's going to drop on Friday, maybe even a little bit more after that, potentially just because people are going to pack him. So that's the kind of thing that I'll be, I'll be, you know, the, my biggest warning would be if you have a card that's going to get into Ultimate Tots, if, especially if you see a leak, there is going to be some more price drops coming in this weekend. So that's kind of honestly all you need to know about Ultimate Team of the Season. The content's usually pretty good, apart from not getting a guaranteed Ultimate Tots pack, and they put the best of the best cards in packs with a few ones that are still bad in there, but the pack weight's pretty bad. And that's just the main things you need about, to know about Ultimate Tots. The market will move and there will be cards, of course, that will be changing in price from all of the Tots leagues as people, you know, are going out and changing their squads and whatever. But we're really going to dive into that specifically when we get the leaks and when we see those prices moving. So we talked about selling these cards on the weekend. So if you sold already, you're doing good, you're feeling fine, um, and you're just waiting for some panic and a low point to get back in if that's what you want to do. So that's kind of what you need to know about Ultimate Tots. And again, like I said, we'll cover more later on this week. Let's talk about today because we have a big day today. It's the biggest day of Serie A Tots, I'll say it, because upgrade packs have been just okay. You can see the counter is up to 130. I packed a duplicate Mike Nan. My best pack pull so far from Serie A team of the season is still only uh, Milinkovic Savage. Now, I haven't finished Weekend League yet. I'm still playing my games. Got to get those done. But uh, wow, Dybala is dying right now. And that's what I wanted to talk about. Today's guaranteed Tots SBC, uh, Dybala is getting absolutely destroyed. I don't think they're running lightning rounds. I think this is panic. I think this is mostly panic. 2.38, this guy is down. Rafael Leao is under 3 million coins. A lot of these cards are actually down right now. And this is kind of something that we normally see. But I think with ultimate Tots on the horizon, it's, uh, you know, maybe heightening this sense of selling some of these cards right now. Not everything is down. Like, Teo Hernandez is still, like, 1.1 million coins. Like, this dude is so rare, he just hasn't moved. He's actually still 1.13, 1.12. So, you know, I think that today you're going to want to watch these rare cards. Like, a guy like Tonali, a guy like Dybala, a guy like Teo Hernandez, some of the more or layout, right? These rare Serie A Tots cards that people still want to get their hands on. Yes, of course, you could be worried about Rafael Leao getting in or Dybala getting into Ultimate Team of the Season. And there may be some leaks around that and you have to be careful with that. But I think just like we've seen every single Wednesday, some of these cards that are really hyped that a lot of people want to use, you will see their prices uh, drop after the first 10, 15 minutes of the SBC today. And then I think you'll see them go up. Right now, it looks like there's a lot of people selling for whatever reason. Berardi is 170K. Quadrado's 184. He is down. Like I mentioned, the Dybala, he is down a decent amount as well. So, you know, I think for the rare cards, if you see a price that's low enough tonight, it's like crazy cheap. Like Dybala would be tempting for me to maybe pick up. Again, it's risky knowing that the Ultimate Tots leaks are right around the corner, but seeing how much like Dybala was 2.6 yesterday and right now he's 2.37 like that's kind of crazy so you know not many people are going to pack him from the Serie A guaranteed today so like you've seen in the past couple weeks I do think a few of these would rise back up a little bit in price not all of them though you know guys like um, your Chahanoglu, Brozovic, Magdan, Milinkovic, Savage they're probably not going to move much I could see a guy like Quadrado being one that gets like panic sold a bit because I mean, how else are you going to link these guys in defense in your team? You're going to need Quadrado, right? Uh, he's 185. I could see him being like 170, 175, and then shooting back up to 190 later on today. I think the Serie A Tots guaranteed SBC, if we transition to talking about that, I think that SBC delay is going to be, it's got to be one of the cheapest uh, guaranteed Tots that we've seen because this team in general is just cheap, right? And you think about what you're going to be packing today from the squad. It's, it's going to be like last week from League One. You're going to get all the low tier guys, right? Magnan, Bremer, Skriniar, Chalanoglu, Brozovic, Milinkovic, Savage. All the cards that are sub 100,000 coins are going to have the highest pack weight today. You'll see a few Berardis mixed in there. He was pretty popular in red picks. Tonali will get mixed in there. You're not going to see very many Dybala's, Teos, Koulibaly's, 
or Rafael Leal's. So that's just the way that it is. Um, so that's those are the ones that I think you would see bounce back up a bit. Uh, but, you know, there's still enough hype with the Serie A team. I think you'll see the cards move around and fluctuate because people still want to buy these cards and people are trying them and people are giving them a go and using them and putting some triangles together and linking them up in their team. So I think you'll see some bounces later on on some of the rare cards that are in this team. Now, fodder-wise, honestly, if I'm going to put a, a rating on how much I think the Serie A Tots is going to be, man, they've been going up in rating recently. Uh, you know, last week we did have a super cheap League One tots sbc um you know i feel like this shouldn't be more than an 86 or an 87 rated squad i don't know if they're gonna do like the double team of the season requirement or if they'll just require one tots card uh but i feel like 86 and maybe if they require two tots like 85 but uh it should be 85 86 87 today for the rating now how's that going to change the market of fodder you know this fodder market with the whole glitched store with unlimited packs being available, fodder, is it's been unfortunate. Kind of EA kind of screwed over fodder investors this week. I'm being completely honest. It's on EA here because the, the store was either messed up or it was supposed to be like that. I'm still leading on the side that it was messed up because it, it just felt glitchy. It didn't look right. I don't think that was a you know planned thing by EA, which it's fixed now, by the way. We'll take a look at that in a second. Um, but you know, that's, that's really what's hurting these fodder prices, that constant supply people were, were putting on FIFA points and just opening packs because they could profit off of opening some of those packs in the store. So, you know, if you do have some fodder today though, I think today's probably your sell day. If it's an 85 to 87 rated SBC, all of your fodder that is like 83 to 88 will probably have a short kick up in price. Um, as people go out and do the Serie A guarantee, that's just something that people want to do, right? They want to hit that guaranteed TOTS SBC. They want to give it a try. And, uh, you know, it's it's a gamble in itself because, oh my goodness, I could get Dybala, but, you know, we're most likely all not going to get him. So um, we do have, like I mentioned, these packs are now, it looks normal in the store again, but I'm pretty sure that we don't have a preview pack still. So, you know, it was almost like 20 hours of store mess ups and store situations uh, with those packs in there yesterday, which was pretty crazy, but it really didn't impact the market like that crazy much it was just kind of a weird scenario i wonder if ea are going to tweet about it i don't know uh but it does look like it's fixed we should see lightning rounds today i do believe that usually doesn't impact the market too much on a wednesday like i, I wouldn't sit here and expect to say that oh my goodness quadrado is going to get smacked today in price because of the lightning rounds you know that that usually does not happen on a wednesday or a thursday most of the price drops that you see on a wednesday or thursday um or especially wednesdays on the TOTS cards and packs are just related to people panic selling um, after the guaranteed SBC is released or, you know, let's say they pack, you know, Kula Bali or something and they had them tradable on their team. So they go and sell the tradable version. That happens more so on the lower tier cards, uh, like like a Berardi, like a Quadrado or something like that. So yeah, I, I think today's gonna be an interesting day on the market. We're gonna hope for some good Serie A uh, pack pulls. Other content that we'll see today, we are gonna have the 80 plus times 10 refreshed uh for today as well that sbc was released on monday and it's going to be refreshed again today so that pack was terrible on monday though so it might even be worth considering not doing this sbc today that'd be kind of crazy but maybe smart at the same time um and then i do think we're going to have a player sbc because we have a leak for a player sbc um, of a man by, that goes by the name of Caprari, which doesn't make sense because now we have had back-to-back -back center forward Serie A player SBCs. We had Delofeu and now this guy. Um, you know, his card looks decent, nothing great. This should probably be another cheap Tots card. Um, but if it's a center forward, I'm like, EA, what are you doing? Like, mix it up. Give us a defender. You've given us some, you know, an attacker already. Like, let's mix it up here. So anyways... That's our other leaked SBC player for right now. I think that will come today as well since it's the last day of Serie A TOTS. So that should be our content today, right? Guaranteed TOTS pack, the 80 plus times 10 once again, and this Caprari player SBC. That should be all of our content for today. Now, let's talk a little bit about yesterday. Um, yesterday's content was, you know, it was okay. We had two guaranteed TOTS packs. We had the Serie A 84 plus player pick, which actually, if you want your best chance at a blue, this is your best chance of a Serie A blue from a specific pack or player pick. Um, you know, I saw a decent amount popping from these. Definitely not a guaranteed blue, but solid. It seemed like the pack weight on the upgrade packs was just a little bit better yesterday, which was okay. 
but still it's not great it's not as fun and it's so hard to pack team of the seasons this week so that that grind is a bit mudded but we did have the Pirlo SBC yesterday which to a lot of people you know it's uh the price isn't terrible I guess it's about the same price on the market but um it's just it's just weird like to get a to get a card uh it makes sense for them to be releasing Pirlo right now because it's Syria but also knowing his stats uh, that are on his card. He's five star, five star, but just the stats in this card are like not good. So that's kind of, it, it was almost kind of laughable yesterday that that is what came out as a part of the content. So honestly, I think today on Wednesday will be a decent day. What's really going to be bringing the hype though are the leaks. And I wanted to show you this tweet by Sheriff because this tweet right here, I, I think he's kind of playing with this guys. I think he is like, he says very close to one of the best teams in packs. So I want to know what is your ultimate tot. I think he's starting to get some of the leaks and he's just kind of building up the hype here. Maybe reading into it a little bit more. And I'm very anticipatory of the leaks for Alton Tots. But that's just kind of my thoughts and uh, and my feelings. I think we're going to start getting leaks today. I thought we were going to maybe get him yesterday and we didn't. But I think for sure uh, we're going to start getting some of those cards leaked today. And that's going to really set the market into like a springboard motion where a lot of people are going to probably start to sell some more stuff. So uh, yeah, I mean, it's a really tough situation with these Tots cards. If you're losing on Dybala right now, I mean, I think he could kick back today unless he's leaked to be an ultimate Tots. That's the only caveat, right? And just remember, I know it seems scary to own one of these Tots cards and be like, Nate, is it going to get into ultimate Tots or, or is it not? Just remember that if they're only doing 15 cards, then there's a much higher chance that they will not get into ultimate Tots than the chance of them. Oh my gosh, 1.6 for Salah? Oh my gosh. All right. I don't know, man. Maybe these guys have the leaks already because that's down horrendous. How much is Mane? All right. Quick check. I, I got to check a few prices really fast. Mane is 2.6. Uh, Salah is 1.6. Man, that's crazy. I haven't checked those cards in like a day or two and they are down really, really bad. So I guess people are expecting uh, Salah to be in this Tots team, man. That's, that's crazy, crazy low for him. So We'll just see, right? I'm going to wait for the leaks and then maybe trade with a few cards. And if you see a card that is not listed in that you think a lot of people will want, like a Paqueta or something like that, try to catch them on the Panic Cell if there is any. And then um, this weekend, we'll go again and see what happens with the content. But yeah, for right now, just watch the Panic Selling. Watch the content today and uh, we will inch one day closer to probably the most hyped week because it's got the biggest cards in packs. Uh, of team of the season. Also, we have to watch tot swaps and we'll talk more about this on Friday because I do believe that the re the rewards are out this Friday for tot swaps, which means they're probably going to drop the token pack in the store, which will mean supply, supply, supply on probably just the lower tier tots cards that are in for ultimate team of the season. And of course, MLS and rest of the world, which will be in packs on Friday as well. So that's all for today. If you did enjoy today's video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe. If you are new, it has been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.